Over the weekend, Rogers City softball team accomplished a goal many teams have set in the past, and today we're taking a look back on that journey that started right here in Northeast Michigan. Last year when we finished in the state semifinals to Kalamazoo Christian, the goal was to get back there. And it's good feeling that we got past where we did last year, but now we're ready to win the state championship. <laughs> when we made it to the streetlights and we got out, it was kind of crazy to see everyone that showed up. The streets were filled. There was cars parked everywhere. There was little kids everywhere. There was parents, people we didn't even know would come just to see our escort. Just the support we get, I'd love to go back home drive through town with a state title in our arms. As soon as we got down here, we were yelling out the windows. We started playing softball together, and it's great that as a team, we're still sticking together. You couldn't ask for better people to play with. You couldn't ask for better coaching. The first thing when we go out to take the field for pregame, we'll be putting dirt in all of our positions, grass in the outfield positions and dirt in the batter's box. So we will have the home field advantage. The energy in the dugout throughout the entire game was crazy. I just knew that this was our game. Just from that moment when already being on third and it was only a couple like hits and batters in and I was like, we got this. When we got ahead 3-1, to one, I think Fowler felt at, at home because they've been coming from behind winning all their games, but then we were, we were fortunate enough to stretch it out. We ended up winning 11-1. to one. A double play to end the game. When the out was made, it was like, wow, like we're going to the finals. This afternoon when I was putting on my jersey, I was like, talking to some of my teammates and it's just kind of surreal like it's our last of everything and it's closing our senior year. Number 10, Logan Fleming. It's going to be the first time a D4 champion is crowned at Michigan State. We definitely intend on uh, taking home the trophy and going all the way and being the first team to win a state title for softball at our school. We, we did face them earlier in the season and we beat them but it's it's just still not enough for me. It doesn't compare to what the loss was last year. No matter if we win or lose, this is, this is where we leave it all. There's no better way to end your senior year than playing in the final game of a sport that you love and you've played your whole life. Now it truly is like the rematch that we wanted and where we wanted it to be and I think our team can do it. It was such a privilege to be able to get the last out of the game and every emotion was rushing through me. It was awesome. This is my last little bit of high school and thankfully it went the way that it did. Every little town needs a good shot in the arm and Rogers City and all Northern Michigan just got one provided by these players. Out of the 13 players on this team, six are graduating. However, they do have younger siblings in the program, so we might be able to keep this tradition going for a couple more years. And obviously a big congrats to the Lady Hurons on their first ever state title.